Hi, welcome to SBR Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. Sitting next to me is Mike Brennan. This is the uh, NBA Odds Couple Show for Friday, March 25th. The Sweet 16 is going today, but we got nine games on the NBA card. Yeah, and you got it going on on both sides. You uh, went 3-0 in college I yesterday and 1-0 in NBA. Well, I have nothing for today's. I tried to uh, analyze it. Couldn't really get anything going, but uh, I'm okay. sure we have nine games. I'm sure that you have. I do have some picks, but before we put six. the cart before the horse, we're going to pan this board accountability, as we always say. All right, I went one and two yesterday, folks. It's unacceptable. That's two days in a row I have not produced, but that's going to stop today. 96 and 80, though, however, on the season, 54%. Very, very respectable. Pete, one and oh yesterday. Low Shack is back, 44 and 52, 45%, and it will climb. And by the end of this show, I think I can pull a pick out of Pete. I think I can. But I know I got some solid plays today. I got five of them, Pistol Pete. Okay, well, there's some interesting situations. Uh, Toronto and Houston. Houston kind of uh, mm. failing, right? Boy. They're fading. Uh, pick them game with, with Toronto and Houston. What do you think? Well, here's what I think. Toronto just clinched the playoff spot, all right? So maybe maybe their urgency isn't as high as Houston. Houston had a huge lead, 17 points on Utah. Utah stormed back, won the game by two, all right? Houston literally is in a fight for their life to get into the playoffs. They still have a shot, but they got to win. They got to win. They got to win. And guess what? I like them on the half, and I like them on the game really? today. So I picked the first game I picked is one that you like a lot. Yes, I like it a lot. I got them Houston plus a half a point on, yep. the, on the first half, and I got them plus one on the game. Yep, those lines are still there. That's my first two picks. So you think this, it's Pete. a bounce-back spot for Houston? I, I do. I really think it does. And I think Toronto on the road sometimes kind of slacks off. Plus the fact that they clinched their third straight playoff spot, I think they might just kind of slow down a little bit. That's All my right. thoughts. Well, I'll make a prediction for, uh, for another pick that might be one of yours. Atlanta on the first half, minus five. Oh, my God. Am I right? Tell them what he's won, Bob. <laughs> yep, exactly. Yeah. That's exactly right well, there. Hawks you know, minus five on the first half. Atlanta, Atlanta is really uh, putting it together, right? And yes. Milwaukee uh, playing out the string, basically. Playing out the string, you know, testing out new lineups from what I talent, read today. basically playing out the string. Tell us why you like Atlanta minus I like five. the Hawks early because they're, they've won seven out of eight now. They're really, really focused. Budenholzer has gotten in their heads. This team believes in each other, and I'm telling you, they just – they're just really playing good ball. Alf Horford stepping up. Corver's back. They're just really clicking on all cylinders. So I think at home they want to establish the pace, cover the half. It's minus five, and I think it's a ticket casher, Pete. All right. And then, of course, we always have a Golden State game, which is always interesting. My sense is maybe you're passing on this one. No pick on the Golden State game. When I went to use the restroom, <laughs> did you look at my no, office? I did you look I did. step into my office and look? I promise you, Golden State's nowhere on my paper. Well, it makes sense. Jesus. You know, you, Dallas you're going to win everything uh, again today. I feel it. I don't know. I mean, you know, Golden State, clearly they want to, uh, to, to get that record, but yeah. I'm not sure that they're going to be covering these spreads, 14 yeah. points. Dallas, obviously a, a very flawed team, Bad but, team. you know, They'll, they'll, they'll get something to, to try to challenge yeah. Golden State, right? And you know what? I'm going to put this out there. Golden State might blow this team out. They might. They might. All right. But they will get the win because what you said is so so very well said. All right. They're not covering a bunch of spreads, but they're getting the Ws. And they're going right. to get the W today, but that's a lot of points. Can they do it? Hell yeah. Will they do it? I don't know. I'm backing off, Pete. And then another game that's interesting, but probably a stay off, is Memphis and San Antonio, right? Ooh, first Both teams. Half. Oh, you like it? Love it. Really? You know that Kawhi no. Leonard is out? Uh, no. He's uh, out? Yeah, yeah. I, I did not see that. Kawhi Leonard is out. Uh, who else is out? I'll give you, uh, actually, you actually, just... actually, here. Leonard won't play Friday, and the uh, and the Spurs are also resting. Danny Green, yeah. Boris Dia, and uh, and Patty Mills. Well, you know what? They there still could go. put. I'm, I'm canceling it though. I'm canceling that play, and I mm -hmm. appreciate that. That's there why we go. work so well together. I do, I do contribute something to this you show. You contribute right? a like, lot to this show. Uh, you are only, my line shopper. Maybe and everything. only twelve percent, but I I hook you no, up I, with some info once in a while. I just I appreciate that, Pete. You just you just saved me right there. So I'm pulling off that. I had Spurs minus seven and a half. Did not have the same report I mean, you had. It's possible possible this is copied and pasted so it's possible that where i copied and pasted it from could be wrong well, it was from the ap the ap uh, uh, preview of the game but think about it this is totally popovich is it not right. Against a Memphis team too, that's literally using peanut vendors and yeah. popcorn vendors, putting them in a uniform. So, but Memphis all right. totally has guys sitting out too. So I know, but I'm staying off now. You just pistol peed. I just, did. Yeah. Right? Are you going to be mad at me tomorrow? Not at if all. Your if it was, wins, uh, hell yeah. no. I'm going to thank you again. All I'm telling you, uh, I copied and pasted. Leonard copied won't play Friday. It's all good, buddy. I like it. I'm off of that one now. <laughs> <Woo>! <laughs> right. 
Okay. Then we also have, uh, let's see, Orlando, Miami is an interesting look. Yeah. If, I, if I had to give one play right now, and I'm definitely not going to be betting this, but if I had to give one play, it would be the under in uh, in Denver and the Lakers. It feels like Ooh. Denver is uh, is playing for pride towards the end of the yeah. year, and I think they're playing, uh, they're going to look to clamp down a little bit on defense, yeah. and the Lakers, you know, the big, big under trender at home. Yeah. And, uh, you know, they're, they're sort of feeling things out, playing out the yeah, strength. It's a high good. total. Yeah. Opened at 215. Now it's 214 and 214 and a half market wide. I'll give that as a pick. Under I was going to say, you might yeah, add why something not, there. Why not? Under 214 and a <laughs> half. Moshak pulls the trigger. Denver, Lakers, under 214 and a half. Obviously, Denver can be super high scoring, but I'll take it. Under you know what? I got, I'm not kidding you either. No joke in here. I got a feeling you're getting ready to go on a tear, a low very, shack very tear. Positive. I might you be tailing know. you next you week. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> I certainly, uh, I certainly am uh, keeping up to date with uh, with the AP reports on who's playing and who's not. Okay. So I'm taking Denver under two fourteen and a half. Okay, I like that. You got anything else? I've got one more play, okay. and okay. it's a three team teaser. Mm. All right, and even yeah. though the Spurs are resting guys, mm -hmm. they still are going to stay on my teaser because mm -hmm. I like that number. Um, I have the Rockets, which will be plus seven after the adjustment. Yep. I have the Hawks minus two and a half after the adjustment, Pete. And mm -hmm. I, yeah, wait, 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 it was okay, eight and a half. Okay. It's eight and a half or nine market wide. The only one that has eight and a half is five dimes. All right, and does five dimes have Rockets plus one? Yes. Okay, and how about the Spurs? Are they still minus 12 and a half? The Spurs are, yes, minus 12 and a half. Boom, oh so my they'll God. be minus six and a half. So All there it five is. Five dimes. There five you dimes go. is my three team teaser there Rockets, Hawks, and the Spurs. So I got five total picks. Nice one. Hmm. Okay. Wait, I don't wait four picks because I've got one, two. Yeah, I got four. I'm going to review them just okay, so I don't review, get confused. Review. Hawks on the first half, minus five. Rockets on the half, plus a half a point. Rockets on the game, plus one. And a three team teaser with the Rockets, the Hawks, and the Spurs. And Brenner's feeling it today. I'm feeling it. I'm going to get back up and brush my knees off, baby. I'm, I'm moving forward, baby. You really like that Atlanta first half. I'm, I love that. I'm love gonna, it. I'm going to put probably three or four units on that. You think I'm, that's like your strongest play of the, of yes, the card? Yes. All right, I'm going to tell you on that. Damn, one. I like that. I like that. I like that. And I've right. given you no reason to doubt all my right. tail. So. so you got your you got your all plays. And, and, and I'm review your two. Just uh, Denver and the Lakers under 214 and a half. And tail of the day. Is Atlanta minus five? I God, I like that, that Pete. But before we close, let's pan this board one more time because I can't wait to knock that thing up to 100. And it could happen today. It could happen it could. tonight. <laughs> 96 and 80 for Brenner, 54%. I'm going to push this thing up. Pistol Pete, I'm warning you, he's getting ready to go on a tear, and he has done it in years past. 44 and 52, but this means nothing right now, the 45%, because he's getting ready to go on a hot streak. So jump on board. I'm telling you right now. That I, knew, being, I knew that Atlanta first half was, was had yeah. Mike Brenner written all over you, it. You did, too. Yeah. I like that. See, you're starting to learn my And now style. I'm starting to realize that if a play has Mike Brenner written all over it, it probably also has positive EV written all over it I as like well. I like that, too. And it's proved to be that way this year. So, yeah. again, never tapping myself. I don't gloat when I win, and I damn sure own it when I lose. All right? But I'm feeling it today. I think you and I are going to have a great day, Pete. Okay. Sounds good, Mike Brenner. We'll be back tomorrow, right? Absolutely. Let's go pop a beer and enjoy March Madness.